Making a game is not as hard as you'd think. You can probably pick up the skills necessary to do so over the course of just a few weeks. To help point you in the right direction, I'm going to be giving you five skills you can start working on in order to get your game development journeys underway. Welcome virtual dreamers, my name is Gregory, and let's get this list started with... Skill number five, game design. Game designers break down ideas to their foundations to determine what kind of art assets and code the game's going to need in order to work, and then use the tools at their disposal to bring those ideas to life. Game design isn't as simple as just being an idea person, so if you haven't already, get to making some design documents, whether that be a simple math notebook bullet point list or an epic manual. A collection of art assets and a bundle of code do not a finished game make, so start working on those design muscles and plan out games that people want to play. Check out channels like Game Maker's Toolkit or Extra Credits for tons of game design gold. Skill number four, game engine usage. Game engines are tools that let you create video games and where most game projects begin. Unity 3D, Unreal Engine 5, Godot, these tools don't cost a penny to download and let you get started upfront without any cost. And for the love of all that is good, don't waste a bunch of time early on trying to reinvent the wheel and make your own game engine. Doing so is like deciding to make your own instrument when your goal is to make music. Keep your eyes on the prize, people play games, not engines. To learn, I recommend following tutorials or checking out the learning resources on the game engine websites themselves as they tend to have some really good stuff on there. And otherwise, I check out some YouTube channels or other online resources in order to get your feet wet. Skill number three, digital art. When I say digital art here, I'm encompassing the disciplines of 3D modeling, image creation, music, and animation together here. Applications for creating media in all those forms are abundant and often free, with tools like Blender, Krita, Creekwalk, and Paint.net all costing nothing while allowing you to create professional quality work. While having tools like a drawing tablet or a MIDI controller would help a lot for this kind of a thing, a lot can be achieved even without them to say nothing for learning IRL just by using traditional instruments or art supplies. While games don't necessarily need great art to be good, I think very few people want to make text adventures nowadays, so consider picking up an art skill or finding somebody who has an art skill if you want to do game development. Skill number two, coding slash scripting. Games are software programs, which of course means they're built on and utilize code. If you want to make games, you're going to have to learn some kind of scripting method, whether it's a programming language like C Sharp or a visual scripting solution like Blueprints. Art assets and level designs without code are nothing more than props without a purpose. If you're wondering what programming language or scripting solution to learn, my advice here is to figure out what game engine you're going to be using first, and then learn the language that works best with that engine. Be mindful that programming tutorials can get a little bit broad if you leave the scope of the main game development websites as programming is used outside of video games. But once you get past the basic stuff like using conditional operators or loops, you'll pretty much be able to copy pasta your way through making your first games. Of course, to reach the point where you're making a game, you're probably gonna want the next skill that I'm about to mention, no matter what your background is. Skill number one, project management. I touched on this in my last video on game development, but really, managing a game project's scope, resource allocation, and schedule is pretty much what will determine if you have a game in the end or not. Telling someone to make a game in an hour can sound impossible, but when that game is rock, paper, scissors, it suddenly becomes a lot more reasonable. I am literally using project management skills right now as I'm in the process of creating this video that you're in the middle of watching. Project management matters quite a lot no matter what you're doing, game development or otherwise, so probably a good skill to pick up regardless. Whether you opt to work on game design, learn an engine, digital art, or coding, I hope you'll manage your learning and projects in such a way that you don't have to go through a death march like I am to make your dreams a reality. Start small, don't be afraid to work with other people or use free assets, and above all else, try to have fun and love what you do. This should be your virtual dream after all. Till next time, virtual dreamers, this has been Gregory, logging out.